Hi guys, it's me, the Witch of Boise, and I'm here to do another general read. Woo! So make sure you do like this video, hit subscribe, also comment below, tell me if any of this resonates with you. And with that being said, this is a general read, so if it resonates with you, I am super excited about it. If it doesn't resonate with you, well, I'm very sorry. Um, make sure that you watch the entire video because maybe not the entire message will resonate, but maybe a part of it. You've been guided to watch this today, so <laughs> you should check it out. I do have a lot of other general readings on my channel as well as pick a card. So just make sure that you check out my channel and see if anything resonates with you. All right. Um, also, before I begin, um, if love becomes a part of the reading today, my default is a reading to a female about a male. So pronouns are interchangeable. He's can be she's. She's can be he's, he, he, she, she, them or they, whatever is going on in your life. That is Coda behind me and she, she sees a dog outside. She's very excited. So anyways, we're going to get started here. Hold on. We're going to calm Coda down. Sorry about that. She just gets really excited when there are um, people walking their dogs out. All right. So we're going to begin our first... Um, deck is our trusty witch's tarot. Okay, so the hanged man came out, but it looks like it's in reverse. Interesting. came out so this came out sideways like this so when it does go sideways I always default it to the up um, the upright not reverse and that's the one cool thing about this deck is you can really tell um, what is in the reverse um, what is upright because the top is pink and the bottom is blue and um, when I've been learning tarot, it became very confusing to, um, okay, two of them came out. Um, it became very confusing to learn, um, upright and reverse. So I just got really well, um, acquainted with the upright and I'm still having, um, I'm still learning with the reversals. And a lot of times it's for me is um, intuitive reading. It might not even be the, um, okay, that one came out, these two. Um, it might not be the correct reversal. Um, but how I read them is usually like the opposite of what is okay I think that's plenty of cards it's what the opposite of what the upright is but sometimes it doesn't work that way so it's just it's a lot of intuitive work okay so I'm going to line these suckers up all right There's an energy here that, ooh, there's an energy here that's really ready to move. There, you, there was a stagnant energy here for a while. And I feel like they've had their chance to see um, all sides of it. But now it's the hanged man upright. Now he's seeing things clearly. He's seeing things, and I'm saying he because I feel like this is the masculine energy. I, oh, I really do because of certain things that are coming to me. Wow, this is intense. I'm going to get my next deck before I really dive in, and I'm going to take 
five of them um, to get kind of an energy read of what is going on here. Because I'm, I'm feeling something for certain and it, it has to do with someone that's trying to make a choice or that made a choice and has been proven that this is not their choice was wrong. Okay. Okay, we got the star, the magician in reverse, the high priestess. So that's a dub. That's a um, double card. Temperance in reverse, and judgment in reverse. Okay. Let me read off all the cards to you. So we have, and show you, we have the hanged man in reverse, the 10 of pentacles, the high priestess, the nine of pentacles in reverse, the empress in reverse, the lovers, the sun in reverse, the Ace of Cups in reverse. The Shadow side, which is also the Devil in reverse. And then the Chariot in reverse. And then we have the Star. The Magician in reverse. The High Priestess. Temperance in reverse and um, the judgment in reverse, and that's just judgment. So I'm really getting this energy that this person, this can be a love because of the lovers, but this is a choice that was made, a choice that was made to leave in a situation, leave a relationship. I feel like they are seeing things differently now because they've had time, they've had the hanged man time to see, to see things in a different light. And also they might be changing their minds on certain things like family, getting married, kids, that kind of thing. And there is intuition that is at play. So this is definitely trusting your intuition as well as they are trusting their intuition. And this can be also like your reading too. This might be that you've had a change of heart, but I'm honestly feeling like this is someone else. I'm feeling like this is a masculine energy and they, they're again, there's intuition that's here. I feel like they have gotten to a point where they were dating, that they might have even been in a relationship. And I feel like they fear that you have as well, because you, you probably totally have, but you, they might not know what your status is, what your um, relationship status is. And I feel like there's a little bit of fear going on there. I definitely feel like this is the masculine because of the Empress in reverse. But also, I keep getting with this being in reverse that I lost her. Like, that's what keeps going into my mind. Like, I lost her. And I feel like they replay a lot of what has happened in the past. And I feel like this is a past relationship obviously. But this could be also something where they've wanted, they wanted a relationship and you did. 
And then they got scared and they were like, nope, I can't do that. That's not my thing. And that I want to be single. And I feel like right now they are, they made that choice. And I feel like it wasn't your choice, but you were just like, all right, whatever, <laughs> whatever, dude. And they realize now with the sun in reverse that this was not the right choice. They are not happy. They are, their cup is tipped over. But I feel like they've just like given up. I feel like that there was a point that they were um, obsessed with you. And I don't mean that in like a bad, scary way. I just feel like there was a definite codependence and like an obsession where they were obsessed with you. And I feel like they have let that go because I feel like they think that they can't have you. And I feel like there's a lot of energy that was happening last year. And their, their idea of what was going on in the relationship of last year has changed. It has done a 180. I feel like if they were like, they broke up or whatever, or they said, I never am going to get married. I'm never going to have kids. And I feel like that was a last year mentality. And I feel like with the time off that they've had that might, that's in the separation that you are in, they have changed their minds about a lot of stuff. Because there's been healing there's been healing that's been going on. And I feel like they're just, they feel super out of control of things. I feel like that there's another point that they might be drinking. They might be doing drugs. They just, it's not a good energy that's happening for them. And I f honestly feel like karma caught up with them because they did not treat you right. And now they're, they're in this moment of like, or this energy of, I made a huge mistake. I made a massive mistake. But they have to live with it. And I feel like they're, since they don't know, oh my God, since they don't know your status, code is right here, Ugh. since they don't know your status, I feel like they're afraid of coming to you and they're afraid of They're afraid of the rejection again, but they're the ones that rejected you. And I feel it was one of those instances where they're like, I've got to hurt you before you hurt me. Wow. So this is the goddess guidance oracle cards. And so what I wanted to do when I was picking out decks, I wasn't expecting a relationship, but I did want to do like a feminine and a masculine deck to kind of do like the divine feminine and the divine masculine. And this is crazy. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. So the first one is Guinevere, which is true love. The romantic stirrings in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. Then you have Mawu, which is Mother Earth. You are called upon to help with environmentalism. And then you have Sakhamet, 
which is be strong. You're stronger than you think you are. Your strength assures a happy outcome. And so I'm getting this as the, the feminine energy. And I feel like this person that I'm talking about, you loved them. I feel like I like my heart kind of breaks with reading this because you loved this person. And they just like, bye, see ya. And they threw it away. And it feels like they just like threw it away. But I feel like, I feel like with these cards and like with Mother Earth, I feel like this is, has something to do with kids. Where maybe it was something where you were wanting kids, that you were wanting a family, and they were like, no, <laughs> no way. Or maybe you do have kids and they were just not ready to do a, like a parental role. Um... But with the Sakamets, which is be strong, Sakamets, Sakamets, um, with being strong, it's saying that there's going to be a happy outcome. And it doesn't, it doesn't mean that it's going to be with this person. But you're all right. Like, I'm reading this on their end. And I honestly feel like on your end, you're fine. You're just chilling. And this is like their energy that's reaching out and being like, I messed up. Like I keep getting, I keep getting like, I lost her. I lost her. Okay, this was the, the Black Moon Astrology cards. And the first card that came out is number 21, Sagittarius, I see. Then we have number 50, Saturn, Return, and Age. And then number 40, water element, sensing. Okay. I feel like this is, this can be a Sagittarius sign or you are a Sagittarius sign. Um, but this is also a Capricorn energy for sure. Because it is, um, Saturn is the ruler of Capricorn. But I'm really, I'm really resonating this as not necessarily this is your zodiac or this is the other person's zodiac, the Sagittarius. It's I see. They see things so clearly now. And I feel like with the age, with the Saturn return, they've had time away to really think about things to mature and I don't feel like this is a relationship that you guys broke up like a week ago you know this is this this has been some time this could even be like a first love something that's like that there's been age where they have matured and they actually see things going on and they've experienced life in a different aspect and with 40 as water element I, they can also be a water sign which that's cancer um pisces and scorpio but i'm getting this as actually sensing because we have two high priestess so i feel like they're getting this energy and they're feeling your energy in a like psychic kind of way because we are still in um Pisces and Pisces is the Pisces season this is the most psychic like sign and also super dreamy and beautiful and mysterious time because it's ruled by Neptune but 
definitely a psychic time where you are connected to this person um, spiritually. And I feel like they're sensing a lot that's going on with you. And they might be seeing you like on social media, but I'm kind of not getting that in the cards. I feel like this is something where they have like this like psychic connection with you and they feel like you cut, like you stop thinking about them. You started to enjoy life and, and just did your own thing and just like, well, F that person. Like they suck. They, they treated me like garbage. And I feel like they also sense like how great your life is becoming because you are bettering yourself, that you are going into a different direction than when you were together and when you, this person was in your life. And I just feel like they sense all this really positive energy that's going on with you. And like they feel the love that you have for this person and they're just like in this despair of just like I messed this up and yes yes you did <laughs> okay this is Viking Oracle and the first card was 44 well of word and then number 27 which is Freya and I honestly feel that Freya is how they view you. How the masculine energy is viewing the feminine energy. They're viewing you so strong, so resilient, and they want to be with you. Okay, let's start with the well of word. <clears throat> magic is real it is a force in the universe your power is real you are a force in your own life do not dwell too long in the past for you will miss your present and thus your opportunity to direct your future everything is connected even apparently external influences may affect us So this also represents the water that's within this well represents the magic of destiny. So this energy, this relationship that we're talking about, this might have been someone that you are, that you truly did love and you probably still do. But you felt like this is my destiny to be with this person. This is, this is the one. This is it. This is who it is. And then they threw you out like garbage. And that's not, that's not right. But this act of them doing this is a part of destiny. And this is a part of your own growth. Everything is connected. And I feel like with that, everything's connected. They're sensing you. They're sensing this. They're sensing your energy. And that's why it's like this just despair that's over here. Just the sad, depressed. And again, I feel like there's, there's drinking going on. There might be drugs. There might be some sort of vice that's going on. And they might be st trying to stop it too with that devil in reverse. But that's also that they've also stopped obsessing over you. But they really haven't. It's still there. Freya. Birth and death are both a part of life. Feminine power is different from but equal to masculine power. You can fight your own battles. Choose partners with discernment. Fertility in all forms surrounds you. Healing in body, mind, and spirit is currently available to you. 
external beauty is rarely enough. Seek depth and intelligence too. And I feel, I honestly feel like they feel this about you. They feel your strength. They know your strength. They knew that you were beautiful beforehand. But I think that they also were with this dating around, maybe being in another relationship that it wasn't deep. They might have been stupid they're, <laughs> they're with where they're just dumb. And it's just not the same. And that's kind of what I keep getting where it's just like, it's it's all right, but it's not the same. Um, so, trying to think. Freya is known as the defender of women, a battle queen, healer, and deity of birth and death, war, witchcraft, and fertility. She's often depicted naked, unabashed in her power and primal sexuality, wearing nothing but great constellation of a necklace called brazenamin, which is fire, wrought from gold and amber. Brazenamin is said to represent the power of the four elements and the fertile power of synergy of these elements together. When Freya dons her necklace, she's irresistible to all. And she's also known for her wisdom as well for her lustful nature. Norse women sought her blessings and advice on healing and on magic and sexual matters. Women help, hope to enter her hall after death. And many grave rune stones mention that women went to Freya. So I feel like this is how they view you. And they feel they view you in a very sexual way beautiful powerful way and again with wisdom and magic and the energy that you guys had together i'm also getting because this is a fertility thing that this has to do with kids with kids and family and again i just i feel like they're just their their minds have changed on a lot from what they had said before. So with my advice is keep doing you. This person obviously wants you to get this message and perhaps put a seedling in your mind of I want you back or I think that you're great and I made a mistake. But they need to come to you. They need to bring themselves to you. And they need to not be a coward. And they need to come to you. My advice for you with this energy is still love them, you know? Have love for them and, but have love for yourself and have respect for yourself. Keep living your life. Keep living your dream. And if dating comes up where you, where there's an opportunity to date someone else that isn't this person, then go for it. If this person's too cowardly to not come to you and to tell you these things, not through a reading, but to tell you face to face, then they just aren't worth it. Because you deserve better and you deserve love and happiness and you don't deserve to be treated like shit. All right, guys, that is it. That's all I have for you today. Make sure you do like this video, hit subscribe. Also comment below. Tell me if any of this resonates with you. I want to thank you so much for watching and um, make sure you follow me on Instagram. It's at Witch of Boise. Um, on Twitter, at Witch of Boise, and Facebook, Witch of Boise. Thank you so much. I hope you have a great day, or had a great day, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.